Greetings. It's time for a little Halloween tour of some of the decorations uh, that Nebula and I, well, she tried to help put up. I'm going to show you the living room because we have uh, pretty much everything in here that's going to be in here. The only thing uh, that maybe you didn't see before was the collection of little witches back here. But this room stays pretty spooky um, all year round, so that's the way I like it. So uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is I set up, uh, I took Lucy down from Brandon's room, and she's my skeleton, and I dressed her kind of steampunk. And on her lap is uh, Chunky Desmond, our little fluffy vampire bat. I did some finishing touches on the altar, which is uh, kind of doing the golden fleece thing. Uh, we have... Uh, um, Medea now. I found a really good painting of Medea. And we have some of the stuff on here now. Um, we have a light up dragon skull, you know, serpents. And uh, Sir, unfortunately, right now our Cerberus uh, got a little bit silly because, you know, it's it's really fluffy. But uh, we call him Cerberus because we're making at least a little attempt at being dignified. Not really. Anyway, uh, going over here. I got, I moved my little retro Halloween figures. And we got some really nice ones this year. I found uh, every year I, I get some Halloween cloth and uh, I really like this one. So I put this up and this isn't even hemmed or anything. I just like throw it over there because later on I might cut it up and use it somewhere else. Um, I had a big thing trying to find the owl. And this year I found this owl at Michael's. The other day I was in Walmart and I found another owl. Yay. So after years of going owlless, I have a fine pair of hooters. Yes, I did say that. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, uh, that's great. The hardest one to find really is uh, for Halloween are devils. They used to have all these little red devils in some of the antique Halloween stuff. And I guess the Christian groups freaked out about them, but they're kind of cute. So uh, I had a uh, devil puppets probably up in Brandon's room. Uh, named Bilzebubla, who looks like uh, the devil if it was a soupy sales puppet. And I did, he's pretty fun. Um, the Boneyard or Haunted Garden with the, and it's probably a little too dark here to really get a good look at it. It's got all the skulls, uh, some live succulents, as well as uh, fake ones, and a Halloween tree which has all oh, its, ah, we're knocking over stuff. Uh, have a lot of good stuff on here too. We have some glass ornaments and some mix of stuff. I found a, I do have some skulls naturally because you can't have a Halloween tree without some skulls and some really nice glass ornaments, uh, wooden ornaments, and just the, like the little silly pumpkin ones that they sell at Target. Um, and like I said, some of these are, are live plants. This one grew so much over the years, and I, I brought it, since, especially since I brought it in the house, it's just thriving here. And I just had a little eyeball here to make them kind of spooky. I have some insufferably little cute skeleton guys, too. So this is done. <laughs> that is done. I moved, uh, when I moved the, ooh, dropped a spider. Uh, when I moved the retro ones, I moved this over here. This is a metal pot. Right now I'm hiding my Halloween candy in it in hopes that uh, my family won't find it before I have a chance to make the trick-or-treat bags. And this I've had for years, a so little boots. So those boots are made for flying brooms. So I got this. Uh, this was a really nice flag that I got on sale Michaels with the raven on it. So that's just a, like a generic fall one, but you never can have too many ravens. As evidence from this, uh, this guy went at the end of the banister. I don't know if you can see him, but he's a pretty nice little raven. And we have the florals here, like I showed before. And a really nice uh, bat vase I found at Michael's. Um, this is a little, um, let's see if I can grab him off here. This is a nice figure too. This was, I got King Supermarket. He's kind of Victorian looking. I, I really like him. Um, I finished the wall as much as it's good to do. Now you can see the disadvantage of this Halloween wrap. It reflects light quite a bit. So if you're having a Halloween party and you want to take pictures against a backdrop like this, just be aware that 
it will reflect <laughs> light because you can see this from the window that um, these are metal signs I had gotten from Walmart years ago. And uh, you can see my style is that basically I like things that are kind of camp, kind of uh, retro on this. I don't go for uh, uh, gory figures really because uh, I, I like horror, but I don't like uh, what winds up being a snuff film or a torture thing. It's like uh, people treat each other way too miserably for me to like that sort of thing and watch it. Like I hate things like Wolf Creek and stuff like that. And I found these cute little bats up here. I don't know if he's in on the camera. So he's hiding up there. And there's another one at the other end up there. I might repaint them a little bit because vampire bats have kind of very pink mouths. And, you know, if I put a little little flesh color on it and, and uh, do the teeth white. I think he'll, they'll show up a lot better. So anyway, um, that is it. Uh, next thing would be if I do anything outside and I don't know when I'm going to get around to that in my copious spare time. I've been running all over the place lately. You have no idea. So for now, it's never too early for Halloween. In fact, it could be all year round and tata -ta for now. Uh, happy hauntings and um, if you're looking for Halloween stuff, uh, Walmart finally put all their stuff out now and the craft stores are having things on sale. So you could grab some really interesting things. So have a good day. Mm -hmm.